Okay, so we want to talk about the factors that affect equilibrium. Here we are going to look at the effects of pressure, concentration, and temperature, and how when you change one of those things, you're going to cause a change that will reduce that um, other thing. So anyway, this first reaction here, we've got nitrogen and hydrogen reacting to form ammonia gas. And if we increase the pressure on this, and in this case, we're allowing some of the hydrogen or some of the pressure to increase, it's going to try to make molecules that will decrease the pressure. So it went from three molecules to, uh, or actually four molecules to two molecules. And so it reduced the amount of pressure because it reduced the amount of uh, molecules and it reduced the total collisions. Now we want to talk about concentration. Here in concentration, you can see that if we add some hydrogen gas here, it's like, okay, well, what, do I, what can I do to reduce the hydrogen gas? Well, I can make some more ammonia in this case. And so it added hydrogen and then what happened is it took away the hydrogen. So it's basically balancing out. Whatever you do on one side, it's balancing it out to reduce it. So it's uh, acting to relieve stress in a situation. Okay, so here we have temperature. Now these are um, exothermic and endothermic reactions that can occur. And then this first one, you can see that this is endothermic, meaning that it absorbs energy. If you go to the um, right, you're going to absorb energy. And so here we went from having these extra ammonia molecules and it broke them up into smaller molecules. Why? Because if it's absorbing energy, it's going to want to react to uh, create energy. And exactly the opposite. If you are, have a reaction or part of a reaction that's actually giving off energy, then it's going to try to um, absorb the energy. Um, and so it's going to react in such a way to do that.